Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from Free Salon Education. I'm here with a new friend, Nick Stenson from Matrix and JCPenney, right? Yes, so correct. We're going to get into your title there. <laughs> where uh, American Salon hooked us up with the interview. So check out americansalon.com. Um, today, what we're going to talk about, you have a lot of things going on, right? A little bit. <laughs> so we're going to talk about juggling jobs and all different stuff. And you have, uh, you, you just have a lot of interesting things that I want to pull out of you. So that doesn't sound right. Um, <laughs> so, so let's go. So let's start off with um, you are working with Matrix. What do you do for Matrix? I am. I'm the artistic director on the design team okay. as well as celebrity stylist for them. Okay, cool. And you um, and you also are with JCPenney? Correct. And what are you doing with them? So um, I am the senior creative director over the brand. Okay. So we have 840 salons across the country. Okay. So I oversee all creative direction for the company. That's It's very interesting to me. JCPenney has taken a, a quick turn. Yes. Like with, especially with the salon business. Yes. So I, I really want to find out a little bit more about that. So tell me, um, you're a creative director for all of JCPenney? All of JCPenney. That's awesome. So uh, to give you a little bit of a background, you know, JCPenney has 840 salons. We've had them for the past 50 plus years and they've been branded JCP Salon. Okay. Really not the most exciting, sexy name in the world. So right. a couple years back we said, you know, when you think of like JCPenney and you think of JCPenney salons, you think of, oh, you know what? My grandma used to take me there when I was a kid. Right. Or, you know, I remember going in when I was a kid. Yeah. So when I came on board and as the company has kind of evolved, it says, how do we take this amazing brand and give it some newness right. and new excitement to it. So they brought me in a little over four years ago to kind of come in and oversee all creative direction. So all education, oversee all marketing, digital, social for the brand. Okay. But then also within the last 24 months, we have partnered with InStyle Magazine oh, wow. to now create a new salon concept called the Salon by InStyle. Okay. So we are going to be rebranding all of our salons to be called the Salon by InStyle. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. So that'll be, and that'll be within JCPenney. Yes. And JC Penney took a, a shift even within their stores. So Definitely. it seems like it was that when they decided that they wanted to change the branding of the salon or did that? I think it's been an evolution the last few yeah. years. You know, the company is evolving to the times and, you know, okay. what the consumer's looking for and how they shop. And right. it's the yeah. same with how the consumer's looking for a salon and the types of services they want and experiences that they want. Okay. And how do you, um, how did you become, so creative director of all the salon, salons, how do you, with 800 different places, how do you keep that under control? That's very interesting to me. Sure, um, sure. I have a salon with four employees, and it's hard enough. To, <laughs> it's hard know. to manage. So right? tell me, uh, tell me what your position's like within that part of it. Sure. So we have a little over 13,000 associates. Okay. <laughs> 840 salons. That's a lot of personalities. It's a lot of personalities. Right, yeah. um, we, you know. It's pretty cool. I'm very fortunate. I have a design team um, of three that create all of the trends that you see that come out of our salons, okay. plus myself. And then we have a full-time education team of 55 out in the field. So there's one per district across the country that goes out and teaches hands-on education to all of our stylists. Okay. So what's great about that is um, we're one of the only organizations that has full-time educators, number one. And number two, we do all hands-on education for our stylists. That's great. And not only do we not charge them to get the education, we pay them to come to training. Nice. So we're all about really elevating yeah. our stylist skill set and making sure that they're um, charged with the best tools that they need for their pocket in order to be able to give any type of service. If you think about 840 salons across the country, you have tons of different types of clients that are coming in and wanting a lot of different services. Right. So we really want to make sure that no matter who walks through the door, we can give them the service that they want and deliver on a really great experience. Awesome. And so how has the growth been within the salons? It's been amazing. Since you've started doing that. It's, it's really been amazing. And you know what? It's been a culture shift, and it's been a, percep a perception change, yeah. and now we're going through an identity change. So right now, it's a little wonky because we're JCP Salon and the Salon Buy-In Style as right. we rebrand because, as you can imagine, 840 salons, it costs a few dollars to yeah, do this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we have to do it really slow and steady and make okay. sure that the formula we come up with is sound that we can roll out across the country. So tell me, like, with that formula, what, what do you think you could implement from the formula that you've done to start to grow those salons in somebody else's salon in the middle of America that just has one salon what do you think they could do a little bit different that you've seen that has helped kind of uh, grow sure you know the JC Penny company I will tell you the number one most important thing you have to remember is the people so you can spend a million dollars on a build out and make it look the most amazing is Right. salon in the world but right. if you don't have the heart and the soul and the talent that is in there you're done it's dead in the water right. so we've really invested a tremendous amount 
back into the experience, back into the stylist, back okay. into really training them on how to be that business person yeah. and be successful. And it starts with the consultation. I mean, it really starts when they book the appointment, then it goes into right. the consultation, the entire experience, and then the way that they leave, and then the follow through with that. And it's really building that infrastructure that has been so successful for us and okay. getting it consistent across the country. Because as you can imagine, 840 you know, doors, everybody's got a different way to do it. Right. So what we want to do is if you're, let's say, on vacation, and you're in New York, but you live in LA, you can get the same experience in both cities. And that's something that's right. rare, and it's something that we yeah, really it's want. It. It's do. hard to do, right? right? And we want to get to the point to where all of our salons are running at that same speed, yeah. so that we can ensure to the customer that, hey, you know what? Come on in, you're gonna get a really great service. Yeah. And what we wanna be is, we don't want to be the cheapest guy in town. We don't want to be right. the most expensive guy in town. Right. Um, we kind of, I like to say it's like affordable luxury. You know, you come in, you feel really great about the whole experience, and then you get the, the price at the end. You're like, wow, that wasn't so bad. Yeah. You yep. know, so it's it's something for the everybody. The value is there. The value is there. And so you have, so JCPenney salons, like, I think for me, um, being a salon owner, I think the number one thing has always been, like, implementing systems. Mm -hmm. So do you, um, the systems that are in place, what do you think from a consultation standpoint, do you have it all written out? We do. Exactly the way that they, you know, should go about it? Yes. Um, okay. So we have actually a book called The Client Experience that we take them through. There's actually two modules, and it's it's a hands-on class, basically. Right. And we do role-playing, and we go through all the different points of interaction, the touch points throughout the service, from the receptionist at the front yeah. desk to the person who's shampooing to the person answering the phone to the service provider all the way out until nice. the follow-up. And it's really about just getting a hairdresser to understand the importance of that full circle yeah. experience. It's because not about what you're applying on the hair all no. the time. Yeah. Because a lot of times what happens is, and I tell stylists this all the time, I don't care how good you are, if you're not really listening to the person in your chair, yeah. it doesn't matter how amazing that haircut or color was that's on that person if it's right. not what they wanted. Right, exactly. So then you lost. Yep. You know, so you have to have that that point of really paying attention, understanding, and getting that connection with the person in your chair before the service ever becomes anything. Nice. So, and you, um, so what I also thought was exciting is you, I, I'm in the live streaming world. Yes. You started some live streaming yourself. Like you, how long have you been doing that? Uh, a little over a year. A little over a year. Mm -hmm. And it started out just JCP salons, right? So yeah, you know, what's pretty amazing about JCPenney, we have this big company, right? And right. our offices are in Texas. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the one thing that I always found so amazing, we have a TV studio in the building. Oh, wow. That looks like something you'd see on 42nd Street. I mean, it's like amazing right. state-of-the-art facility. Okay. And I always thought, like, what can I do with this to connect our associates? Because when you think of, you know, 840 salons, it's hard to keep them all connected. Yeah. And you think about your four yeah. people that work, right? You yeah. want to keep them connected to feel that they're part of this culture. Right. So my biggest thing was how do I connect everybody together? Right. And then how do I also connect our vendors to our stylists in a bigger way? Right. So I came up with this concept called Live with Extension. So it's basically a way, because I was getting people that say to me, can you come to my salon can you come to my salon right. I want to meet you I want to know like I want to pick your brain and although I would love to do that I remember the first week on the job my boss said to me well what's the first thing you want to do I said the first thing I want to do is get into all our salons and she says and what's your timeline for that I said well within the next year and she says how are you going to do that? <laughs> yeah, and I, and I didn't even think about yeah, it. Yeah. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, that's and like five like, salons a day. She's every like, it's day impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you really realize how large we are. Right. And that's when it hit me like just a brick wall where yeah. I was like, this is a big beast. Like, and how are you going to reach that many people? How are you going to reach that many people? So this talk show concept is kind of like a cross between Ellen and Oprah um, kind of set up. Um, we recreated my living room in the middle of this uh, studio. I have a live studio audience. We bring in guests that come Wait, sit like on the couch. Real live studio audience? Real live studio audience. Wow. Yeah. All right. So it's pretty cool. We yeah. bring our stylists in. They get they win trips to come beyond in the live studio audience. Okay. I have all the industry's best um, presenters and educators around the country that I okay. invite onto the show. Very cool. Um, and we do an internal magazine as well that kind of piggybacks off of it. Okay. So like, let's say I invite Sambia, let's say, to come in and, and do a shoot with me for the cover of our magazine. Right. Then I invite him on the show, and then he'll do a technical live right there. Yeah. We'll, you know, we'll tape it, and it could be played again and again for our stylists to really hone That's their really skills. really cool that you guys it. have that. It's really yeah. cool. It's yeah. really cool. And then we raffle off, like we do a spin it to win it thing, or we raffle off trips to go to different vendors education my okay. our own education um the latest in product innovation that's out there and wow. uh, everybody in the audience walks away with something so that's a it's a really exciting 
thing. It I mean, is. like, especially for, um, cause I know JC Penny salon. I got my frosted tips with the, there you the go. cat. I like <laughs> when I was a kid well, there. I hope nobody will do you that know? to you no, anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. Like the evolution, like finally company has decided to evolve right. and, you know, stick with the times. You're doing a great job with that for sure. Thanks. So tell me <laughs> with all of that going on, you also have a job with matrix. I do. <laughs> so tell me, tell me, uh, how does that work? So it's really a great marriage, honestly, between the JC Penny gig and the Matrix gig because I talk about great places to come get your hair done. Yeah. That's JC Penny, right? right? I talk about great products to get your hair to look amazing. You and buy that's them Matrix, at JCPenney. And you can buy them at JC Penny. <laughs> right. So it's this amazing yeah. kind of like yin and yang to each other. Okay. Um, I work on an amazing team of artists, um, artistic directors that create all the trends. We do all the big industry events, trade shows, uh, workshops. Okay. I'm a celebrity stylist for them. So I do a lot of on camera stuff. I'm actually going to be doing something tomorrow on a Las Vegas morning show. So oh, nice. we do a lot of things like that. I just did the Wendy Williams show. And it's really about like makeovers and new innovations and products and right. how to make everybody successful behind the chair and then for anything national like that for a consumer it's like how to get the look okay mm -hmm. very cool and then so are you on social media and stuff i am where can people follow you you can uh the easiest way is to go to nicksensen.com and then you can link up okay. to me on anything i'm on snapchat i'm on uh, instagram facebook How's Snapchat all going for you? not good i have to be honest <laughs> it's awkward to me it is an awkward oh my platform it my is. nieces are like nine and seven and they're like yeah. obsessed with it and yeah. every day they send me a snap so i'm like snapping more with them but yeah I I always feel like I'm never as interesting as right. people want me to be. So it's so funny. Like I snap and then I look at it and I go, that's dumb. And, I, <laughs> and even pictures like for social media, like they're like, people want to see what you're doing, where you're at. And I'll take pictures and I'll be like, nobody cares. Why, why am I doing that? Like, why am I, I posting that? I actually, so there's a, um, there's an app called beam, which is very similar to Snapchat, but it's like live okay. video, but they don't let you preview what you just recorded. Uh -oh. So it just puts it out there, which in a way is bad, Probably but better. I, I wish Snapchat was like that because yeah, you, you record it and then it replays it for you and you're like, yeah, I don't want it. No, I see every so reason why I should not. Are you trying that. to connect it to your business or are you finding it more of like just kind of a personal reach for people? So this is kind of how I'm doing it right now. And I don't know if it's right or wrong, yeah. uh, but I don't um, think anybody knows that answer yet. with Snapchat. I make it very silly. Yeah. Like everything in my life set tends to be very serious, okay. <laughs> you know, because yeah. I'm moving so fast and there's so many things that I'm yeah. doing. So I think on like um, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, I, I'm very business focused. And then I'll throw a little bit of like out having drinks type thing. But, right. you know, it's a lot of business and hair in, in the industry where Snapchat, it's like literally like a, I'll be like, I'm stuck on this airplane again for four hours on the runway. Right, it's yeah. the glamorous life, you know, kind of thing. Right. So I try to make it a little more silly and fun because that's okay. one thing that I, it's interesting. People are like, we love all this information that we're getting from you. We love what you're sharing with us, but like, we want to know about you. Yeah. And to me, that seems weird. Like, I right. think like, why do you care? Like, why do you, I'm not that exciting of a person, but yeah. then people are like, no, we really are intrigued by like, what do you do when you're not doing hair? Or what do right. you do when you're not on TV? Or what do you do when you're not... JC Penny or Matrix. You yeah, know, they want to see your real life. Yeah, my yeah, real life. Yeah, and I think that that's just in general with people. You look at some of the biggest celebrities and YouTube people and just different, so they're sharing their entire life. Exactly. And But you're learning from them at the same time. Right. You know? So that's very cool. So tell me, um, I guess the last little bit, is there anything new going on with Matrix that you want to put out there? Because I know that you know, you're sitting down here for that sure. reason. What's going on with Matrix upcoming? I'll tell you, there's so many good things happening at Matrix right now. We have amazing portfolios, uh, amazing range of products, but something that's new that's hitting the streets pretty soon is a new product line called Raw. Oh, cool. So it's our first organic line. So it, it has ingredients from places like Morocco. I mean, like really amazing, totally different. Looks almost like the packaging almost looks like a milk bottle oh, that's that cool. you would buy. Yeah. Uh, so it's really cool. It's very disruptive in this in the you know market space okay. um, and it's amazing product we can't wait to launch this so nice. that's coming this fall that comes this fall yes all right cool and uh, so you can follow matrix everything Definitely. matrix everybody knows that and um, and for you what's what's next I think the biggest thing right now is um, I have been using a hashtag for the longest time and it's called I see your beauty Okay. And it's something that what is a hashtag? I see your beauty. Okay. So, um, and it started off as like, I just was looking at things and found it beautiful and started putting hashtag I see your beauty. Well, it's morphed into kind of, um, it's starting to get to be a movement in a sense. And I'm challenging other people to say, how do you, this is how I see beauty. How do you see beauty? Okay. So, um, it, it's funny. People are 
starting to get obsessed with the whole I see your beauty. When you think about it, that's our function as hairdressers, right? right? Is to see beauty in somebody who sits in their chair and probably beauty that they don't realize that they have. Right. So um, I'm starting with like coming out with T-shirts and different things like that because people are just obsessed with this whole hashtag thing. So that's pretty fun. And that is I'm cool. kind of leveraging that a little bit more and, okay. and working on that. More to come. I can't kind of go into a lot of details, right. but some exciting stuff um, for probably around holiday coming up. All right, cool. And all they have to do is follow you on uh, on social media Definitely. everywhere and they'll get that information. Yes. So awesome. Well, thank you so much for sitting down. Excellent. It's a pleasure. American Salon, thank you for hooking us up thank with you. this interview. It was and, great. And uh, I appreciate you. Thanks so and, much. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check us out on other videos and check out Nick Stenson on everything uh, social media. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video.